Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this classic bracelet with small square components, seed beads, six o beads and bugle beads. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you will have also a constant beading inspiration. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. All my social networks where you could share your beadworks that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And one more thing I want to tell you, down there in description you will also find the first clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and you could also subscribe there for new inspiration and just to save time. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 oz heat beads and I use 6 o beads and 8 o beads in the same colors like the seed beads and here I also use bugle beads, they are 7 millimeters, but you could skip them, you could use uh, instead of them seed beads because they are only used to connect my elements in the bracelet. Here I use toggle clasp, you could use any type of clasp you like. These are two jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice or fire line. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. I use them to connect my clasp to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back, and I'm going to start by picking up four of these beautiful 6 o beads. Okay, I have them here on my needle, and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this thread, and now here I'm going to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going once, going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot and I pull again. Okay guys, now this is what I have and what I'm going to do next is that I want to reinforce this joint here. Okay, and after I made this reinforcement, I'm going to take a silver seed bead, a silver ato, and a silver seed bead. Okay, this is what I have. And as I'm exiting through one of my six O's, I'm going through the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to take a silver 11 a silver 8 and a silver 11 and I'm going in my next 6 o. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and when I pull I have this and now I'm exiting out of this 6 O, and I'm going to take one 11 O, and as I'm exiting from this 6 O here, if you don't might see my thread here it is, I will go through the opposite 6 O and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, and I'm going to pull 
And now guys, I have this. Now in my next step, I want to go in these three silver beads. Okay, in the two silver beads, sorry. In the 11 oh and then in the 8 oh And I'm going to take six red beads. Okay, I have my six here. And as I'm exiting through one of my eight o's, I'm going through the other one. Now I have this. And I will show you this again. Three, four, five, six, six beads. I go in the next one. Okay. Then again. Okay, and I go one more time through this ato. And now, guys, what I'm going to do next is go through the first two 11 os. Okay, you see, I'm going through two of them and I pull. And now I'm going to take an 11 o, an ato, and a, an 11 o. Okay, like I did before. I'm going to skip the next two beats one, two. I'm skipping them. And I'm going in the following two. Okay. I pull and I have this. Then I'm going through the silver and through the next two. And again, a seed bead, a NATO, and a seed bead. go through these two and I'm going to repeat this two more times okay guys now I have this and what I'm going to do next is go through some beads in this direction. Let's say here. And what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm doing it by making a loop. Going once, going second time through this loop I've made. And I pull. And then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and I could repeat this knot several more times. When I'm ready, I'm always going through the following seed bead after my knot and I cut and I will cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now I have the first element of my bracelet ready and I will make six more of those elements and I will be back to show you how to connect them in a bracelet. Okay guys, and now I have my seven elements ready. I did six more of those elements and I'm going to show you how to assemble them in a bracelet. Okay, I have a new thread on my needle that is about half an arm span of thread. And what I do is that I go here through two beads with my new thread like this. I leave a small tail and I hold with my finger, with my thumb. And now guys, I'm going to make a loop here, like this, and I'm going once, and I'm going second time through this loop I've made, and I pull, and then I will go through the seed bead and out of this silver ato here at the edge and what I'm going to take here are five silver seed beads okay I'm taking my five and I'm going back in circle through this silver bead okay just like this 
and here guys is where I'm going to attach my class plater and now I will reinforce this joint okay do this two or three times and now what I want to do is exit here at the edge through this ato and now guys I'm going to cut this tail thread here okay now what I want to do next is go here in this direction through all of those beads and I want to exit here at the edge through this ato then what I'm going to do is take one of these beautiful bugle beads and I will take one of my elements and I'm going here through the edge in the same ato okay now I have this here is where I should tell you that you could use seed beads instead of bugle beads if you don't have them in your stash okay now I'm going to continue in this direction and I'm exiting here through my next ato and what I want to take here is another bugle bead and I'm going to slide it down and take one of my next elements okay let's say this one okay then again I'm going through all of those beads here in this direction and exit out of the ato okay and now guys what i'm going to do is that i will continue adding more and more elements with bugle beads in between them and i'll be back to tell you how to continue okay guys and now here i am where i added all of my elements here okay you see what i have now and here at this side what i'm going to do is go through those beads and i want to reach this silver bead here and again i'm going to take five seed beads okay i have my five and i'm going back through this ato here just like this and I will reinforce one or two times as many times as I can to make it stronger now I want to go here through these two seed beads in this direction then i want to exit here at the edge and i will continue here i will go through as many beads as i can just like this and i'm taking one bugle go here and pull then through all of those and here okay one bugle bead or if if you're adding seed beads you will take seed beads
and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm going here in my last element And now I have this and what you could do next is go and reinforce this bracelet one more time. This is not obligatory but you could do this. And if you decide to do this after you finish, let's say you already been through all of your beads to reinforce your bracelet and you're ready okay here I will show you one more time how to make a knot I'm making it by making a loop going once and going second time through this loop I meet I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from then I go through the following one or two seed beads and what I do is that I cut my thread okay guys and now I'm going to show you how to attach your clasp okay guys and I'm going to attach my clasp by picking up one of my jump rings I will open this up and I will put it here on my bracelet where I make this five beads loop okay and I'm going to take here a part of my clasp and I'm going to squeeze okay now I have this and I'm going to repeat this from the other side of my bracelet Okay guys, and now my square components classic bracelet with seed beads and bugle beads is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release absolutely free videos two times a week and you will be inspired often. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And you could share your work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and my Instagram page that you will find down there in description. And you will also find there a full list of materials linked to my store, a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, and you could also wanna might want to subscribe there for new inspiration and just to save time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.